e wusi ade bia me kama sem bi se asem o we empe nipa nipa e ne pe ne ho asem ora sami jemfi e ye communicator fo nyina peni e de ma ndc party no de bia onya konya no kwotena tv so ana se radio so a o kan adwen based on dia we hu o kan adwen as a communicator ne ne yi ne ne yi amane bo eni nsemu kire se Dr. Penimba Kwani Din, Edi Dr. Bernard Okoboy, Aman Respond, Action Showdown, and as our money showdown, Mami Moro Wedwe in Fiera, Kennedy or Hine Japan. Dr. Bernard Okoboy has finally given Sami Jemfi a showdown. Ebusia, any you can so aha, a possible multimedia. Me and me media which I'm meeting, Edi Francis Achu, aka possible. Any you can so aha, no mama ya we say. Am I on some trending stories? Any any other story? And I say news a be popping up. I will mind gun and we did can you did see? I will be see. And I saw a shave your bit me as you be the idea free mono. Any possible multimedia? Aha. And I will be near a moon to the moon. Ankasa Ankasa no wait. And then and I see a and I'm so a new to make us say. Sammy Jane Fee. A share the meter. Assembly and of a kind. Aha. And I'm back on for the Nina at their most same fee at in Sambia and Yano Cray at their bar a bonting. I need a FA NPP a bino. Did he kind or say Nanado Eka so be free education, name of free education or yet a and so a yanny papa moon? They toss me a moon a one district, one factory, and also so or yet and so one yanny papa via and no, and I'm a doctor Bernard Okoboy and so a bar bonting. Everybody defending a party say, "Bibi dia ye ura nanado eka se obeye no oguso ye ne mundi a ama di nanado eka se obeye ya oguso ya onye mwe no e ya di ba kope e no e ye uncompleted project a NDC abaye no estati ya omo e mwe a nanado e ye ni papa pa inti no odi atone honsu se obeye." Essay Visca at the Abwa or Mino. In the uncompleted project, do do I end this for a year or more, you know? Or more parts, you know, Ababa complete. And I or my example say, Would the Winnie Eco Piemo ever vote a reason? Oh, General John Dramani Mahama Eco Commission, who airport, no, ever brand near Baba to Abba. No more as at the time of all acquired commissioning, no, no. Airport no any complete. Nemo ne was sixty seven something percent. And or no, and or no, Nana do down kwa eba ya wakwa ako complete. Amane vie peye. Inti Sami Jenfi e chantro. Onya in trona u chano. Ebusia in sama doctor oko boy eka eno ed also. Men pese me kasa nebe tintino. Eni di kwa insu nsa edan sa im kameo. Yen kung kuti nen samo kayeno emun chimu. Nye shek kwa ya ofaso emma sami jenfi showdown. There is something I've observed about this government. There are some projects that were like white elephants before we came. And for some good reason, they've all started to see life. They are coming back to life. And look, it's one of the surest indicators that you have a government that is, is up and doing. The president mentioned the STEM, the um, one is one factor and all that. Now, I would like to take my presentation from this angle. This president is gave his penultimate state of the nation. In fact, strict, st strictly speaking, is the last one. I'll put it. Because the next time he delivers the other one, we would have known whether you have a new government, like uh, you have an extension or a break in the heat of this government or a new one uh, from the opposition. Before he became president, some seven plus years ago, Doc, what was happening in this country? We have a Ghana, in fact, and I've said it here, I'll repeat it. The reason why NPP's manifesto for 2016 was change an agenda for jobs was only one thing. Look, because the national security reports, the intelligence reports, the feedback from the grounds all pointed to the fact that the biggest problem in Ghana under eight years of news Mahama was un unemployment. And so, the manifesto theme for the new patriotic party confronted head-on 
the biggest problem Ghana was facing as of 2016 when we were going into the election. And remember, at the time when unemployment was the biggest, later the results of the 2016 election showed that what we picked from national security and the grounds was true. JM didn't lose by more than a million votes by accident. The unemployment, the frustration in the system, the suffering, the struggling uh, industrial sector because of uh, uh, unavailability of power or instability in the power situation, all were true, evidenced by the results in the elections. This is the Ghana Ekufado inherited from John Dramani Mahama, who had been president and co-president for eight years. Growth of the economy was declining. The, 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 how do you call it? Growth was declining. Fiscal deficit, which is one of the indicators of prudence and primary balance, was in a worse situation. In fact, I have the figures here. When you check, Ghana's trade balance was in the negative for three, four straight years and a jail. What it basically meant is that what came to us as Forex was less compared to what we had to use to buy or purchase services and goods. Any country that has a negative trade balance, a negative primary balance, will struggle to keep an economy that brings relief to the people and creates opportunities. And that's why under JM, unemployment was the biggest item in this country. This is the economy Ekufado inherited seven years ago. Ekufado inherited a Ghana that could not afford to pay allowances for nurses, let alone dream of paying for the fees of kids, over one million kids. Decided or could not afford. But if you are struggling with allowances and you are saying that it is difficult because of the revenues compared to expenditure and you were thinking of revoking the allowances, how can you well, then... Was that a reason given by the government? Oh, the man chair. You were, I mean, uh, how do you call it? They have been talking about it. Where are you? Okay, go on. They told us that they wanted to take in more nurses. So they wanted to take away the allowance. So that, look, no, mm. I've said it and I repeat it. If you've not suffered hunger before, if you've not lived in a family where paying fees is a problem before, you underrate and undermine allowances that cushion people in school. And I've, I mean, careful that I'll mention it. My twin sister was a nurse. I was in medical school. She was getting money every month. I nearly switched from medicine to nursing because life was not easy, my chair. So these basic arguments like let's expand intake and remove allowance. Who told you it is easy to take out allowance and keep lives intact? And so we had an economy that basically could not sustain paying of allowance. This is the Ghana Ekufado inherited. Ekufado inherited a Ghana that could not keep the lights on for close to three, four straight years. Well, the viewer watching lived in Ghana. I was in Ghana. We will not belabor the point. You knew what happened to you before Ekufado came. The calls to your partners at home, whether the lights were on or not. So you prepare your mind. That was the Ghana we were left with. And if you have a country that cannot keep the power on, how can industry grow from a 12-hour economy to a 24-hour economy? We had a Ghana, by the way, by the time JM was checking out, we had gone into an IMF program. And we all have sort of agreed that it is a challenged economy. It is an economy in some difficulty that goes to the IMF where the interest rates on what you receive is lower than the capital market. So with all this hype, with all these wild comments about the JM, new JM that will get and all that, this JM, after eight years, actually landed us at an IMF program. Man, check. That is what the records show and the history shows. But let's now come into the first term of Ekufuado. In the first budget statement read by Ken Oforiata, boldly, 
Nana and the Nankwe Kufado decided and told the nation that we have what it takes to pay the fees of over 200,000 kids annually and that we cannot wait any other extra year to prepare enough so-called before paying for their fees. And by the way, the statistics show that before we came, an average of 100,000 kids qualified for SS but they didn't enter. And I'm not surprised because I nearly, I nearly also did it enter. It took some loans from ADB to go to Presec. So, this president sometimes is talked about like some mythical, uh, uh, how do you call it, insensitive boss. But this same Ekufuado has paid fees for over 1 million kids so far. Kids who are found in homes in this country. This Ekufuado has gave us a power availability situation that is better than what JM gave us after eight years. This same President Kufado has made it possible for industries and factories to come up, and not only that, if you take a factory like Casa Preco, under the 1D1F program, there were serious tax exemptions given to Casapreco, which made it possible for Casapreco to acquire a defunct, moribund, dead factory in Tanoso within the Ashanti region. And as we speak, doctor, there are youth within the Tanoso environs who are on their way to work. Youth that would have been part of the unemployment force if Nana had not uh, stimulated one district, one factory. President Ekufuado, before COVID struck, worked hard to make Ghana the number one destination for foreign direct investment in West Africa. Ghana was the number one. Before COVID struck, Ghana was listed as one of the high performing economies and shining examples in West Africa. In fact, the first three years of a Kufuado was directly opposite to the last three years of JM. Nana Kufuado recorded a positive trade balance for three consecutive years. <laughs> and I listened to my brother Sami. He says, Kufuado didn't mention unemployment. Panche, you don't have to mention the word unemployment to show that you are interested in creating opportunities. The president mentioned 1D1F in his speech. He didn't mention that over 170,000 people have been absorbed. It is the opportunities you create that speak to unemployment, not the word itself. If it's a word, I would have called Eugene to keep unemployment in the speech. But it's opportunities. The president spoke about revival of the CAF project, the Confernotic Teacher Hospital, a project that has been moribund for the past 40 years. Manche, Boroni, you are doing no pardon of you. Forty years. Wago go over here. Come on, just teach us it. Can I ask a question? Do you want to be on it? Come on, come on, come on, come on. No matter. A project that has been moving on for forty years. Jam was in power for eight years. The cat project was hungry. It's a big white elephant. It remains so for eight years. And the Kufado, it is being built at the cost of 138 million euros. Revival of projects. This will create jobs. A lot of youth are working. So a Kufado doesn't need to mention the word unemployment. The opportunities you create will speak to uh, employment. The University of Ghana, uh, how do you call it? University of Ghana Sports Stadium. Anytime I pass by and see the stadium, I get inspired that all is not lost for Ghana in terms of hope. Structures that were hanging for years are coming up. It is a sign that you have a government that is working. Look, my brother says that Nana didn't mention corruption. You don't, again, you don't need to use the word corruption to show that you mean business. The president mentioned the judgment. Okay. Oh, boy. Are you seriously saying that after all your analysis, you know, I didn't even want to interrupt you. This national security thing about jobs and unemployment. 
it happened during President Kufo's time. That is what led to that uh, thing that was created. Um, the YE. Was the YE or something, yes. That was a national security report. So it was not during Mills Mahama. But then again, you're right. The issue about jobs, 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 jobs. That was the campaign promise of the NPP. Are you suggesting that an issue of employment, which is what underpinned President Akufuado's ascendancy to the president, and the fact that we now have a report from the government statistician, which tells us that unemployment is at an all-time high. Job creation, employment or unemployment, should not be a standalone subject. I mean, we are able to let naming of airports be standalone. We can remember to specifically mention the naming of airports. But the issue <laughs> of employment, unemployment, job creation, something which was the pivot around ascension to power, it cannot stand alone. And you are saying that when 1D1F is mentioned,